Greetings, this is Daniel, the Passive Cash Stacker, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make Linktree-like pages inside of Go High Level for your Instagram, your Snapchat, and your TikTok so that you can save money one more way and eliminate another program. First of all, if you saw this video on the first page of YouTube or Google ranked, and you wanna know how I did that, check my course below and I show you step-by-step -step everything I do in every video campaign so that I can get top ranked. Now, let's dive into the content. All right, so we're here in the dashboard inside and we're gonna go ahead and click on funnels and websites. We're gonna click funnels and we're gonna add a new funnel. And inside the funnel, we are going to call it link tree like page. All right, we're gonna create the funnel. We're going to click add new step. We're gonna name the page. All right, we're gonna create new funnel. Inside the create new funnel, we're gonna edit the page. Inside the page, we're gonna click full. We're going to add a new row. We're gonna add one column, and then we're going to add an element. Now, many of the link tree pages have colored gradients or different colored backgrounds to be able to jump out a bit. So what we can do is we can actually come down here to BG image or background image. We click on, and then we can use any of the images that we have, or we can click search and we can actually access 5 million stock images and videos inside of Pixabay and Unsplash. So you can search for what you want. So you see, we have some results from Pixabay. We have some from Unsplash here. So you can pick any one that you like, see if you like anything I like this one. I like uh, this one here. Now, if uh, you can actually take the link itself or you can actually save it right into your account. So let's go ahead and save. And so currently it's uploading the image. So let's go ahead and go back and that we save this one. So you just click the check mark to go ahead and put it. So we have our background here. Now this is going to be the whole background. And so we're gonna go ahead and add our elements. Now, usually the first thing that you see inside of uh, Linktree type pages is you're going to see a round uh, picture and that's gonna be like your profile picture, etc. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a picture, so add elements. We're gonna add an image and then you can go ahead and select your library of images and see if there's anything in there that you like. Okay, so we're gonna say this one here. We're gonna go ahead and choose this. Now you see here how this is a square image and it's large. Now, usually the images that you see inside of Linktree are smaller images. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change the height. So let's say maybe 120. And then you see it's still a square and we want to have them as a circle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click advance and then we're going to do image radius and circle. So now we have the circle just like you see in Linktree type pages. All right, the next thing that you see in Linktree type pages, you're gonna see buttons, and most of them are full width. They go all the way across your mobile device or the page that you are on. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and add an element, and we're gonna add a button. And inside the button, we're gonna say fill width. All right, and then, now on the background image that it's only the very top, it doesn't have the whole image. So as we expand it, we wanna be able to see the whole image. So what we're gonna do is on the, we wanna go ahead and change the image options from full center parallax to full center. Now you see it is the whole image and it has been condensed. And as we make this page larger, it's gonna stretch out and go back to the normal image. And also most of the link tree type pages uh, are going to be optimized for mobile. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the width right here, we're gonna change the width to 35. So this is going to be set up for mobile. So when people land on mobile, whether they're coming from Instagram, Snapchat, or TikTok, it is going to look just like a link tree type page. All right, so we have that set now and we are going to start editing our buttons. So now with our buttons, you're going to say whatever you want it to do. So now this is what I suggest. You want to drive them to your offers. You want to drive them to your socials. So the first one, if you have an offer, like you have a book, check out our book, whatever it's titled, right? Check out our book. So let's, all right. So you have check out our book. Okay. You can have subtext there if you want. So you see here, it's got the subtext under it is the best, but you can have a second call to action under that. And then right there, you can have link to a website. All right, so you're gonna have it linked to a website. When they click on it, they can go to the website. Now, you notice that most Linktree type pages, the buttons are rounded off. 
All right, so then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and change our button. We're going to click on our button. We're going to go to advanced button settings, and then we're going to go to border. And with the border, we're going to say full border. We're going to make sure the border color is the same color as the button. And then we're going to go to border radius, and we're going to make our border radius 50 pixels so that it rounds off the edges. Now that we have that, we are ready to start making more. So you change the margin that you want. So right here we have margin top nine and then margin bottom 20. All right, so we can go ahead and copy that. And then each one is gonna have the spacing that you want. All right, and as you see, as it expands, you're gonna start to see the picture itself expanding to the original size. So we're gonna see everything as it is and we're gonna be able to edit each one of these buttons now. So we can change what this next one is. We got our private Facebook group. You can tell them to request admission. All right, and then you can go to the next one and you can uh, say, check out our YouTube channel. And so you can go ahead and change each one of these the way that you want. Now, what I love is a lot of the uh, link tree type pages, they will also have a call out on the bottom, whatever offer that you're promoting, you can go ahead and have. All right, after we're done with this, we wanna go ahead and add another section at the bottom. So you see here how we can add another column. Right here at the bottom, we're gonna add a new section. And if you look in the right hand corner, it says section. So we're gonna add another section, full width. We're gonna add a row, full column, add an element. And then on that element, we're going to add a button. We're gonna change that background color, something to stick out so that it's completely different than the other. Now you have two different options here. You can have the whole section completely wide but you can set the column and row to the size mobile optimization. So right here, this is what you will see on mobile. And then if you have it on a regular website, then you will see the full width. And if you wanna do that, you can do that at the top as well. So you can take your background image for the original one for your section, and you can make that here, but you can also have it optimized so that whenever it is on a mobile device, you will see it here. All right, now for this section at the bottom, if you have lots and lots of links that people will be able to scroll through, you can actually make this section sticky in the section, right here, section, inside of the section module, you can say stickiness and you can have sticky to the bottom on scroll. So if it is up here and you have a lot of links going down, so let's say we got a bunch of links going down. All right, so if we have a bunch of links going down, this one here will always be on top when we select the stickiness. All right, so let's go ahead and look at it here. We will go ahead and save, and then we will preview. Okay, now you see here, this is our landing page. And as we scroll, this one stays on top, so you always see it, and it's always there for your call to action. And then when you click on that, it's gonna be your pop-up, so they can opt in, schedule a call, get on your list, get your freebies, get your giveaway, uh, all in the same place. Now you have a Linktree-like page built inside the platform. So get out there, save your customers some money, give your customers some extra value, and now we have a one-stop shop inside the platform.